Let's introduce a common industrial carbonization furnace. Carbonization furnace is a resistance heating furnace that uses the graphite elements. It can heat treat various materials under the protective gas like inert gas or vacuum. The maximum working temperature is 1600 Celsius, which can meet the carbonization process requirements of various carbon materials. The new design of the tar filtration system for the carbonization furnace can effectively eliminate the tar produced during the carbonization process and shorten the maintenance cycle of the vacuum pump. With this design, the furnace meets the heat treatment requirements of various modified coated graphite anode materials and is especially suitable for the heat treatment of various organic materials into inorganic materials by carbonization process. It is equipped with a vacuum system, which can be quickly evacuated then filled with inert gas to protect the furnace chamber. It can also keep the vacuum pump open during the heat treatment process, and quickly remove the exhaust gas such as tar from the furnace chamber. There are three main components of the carbonization furnace, furnace body, power supply cabinet, and vacuum system. The whole furnace is compact in design, small in floor area, neat and beautiful. The tar filter is divided into two stages and is installed under the furnace body. Let's learn each part of the carbonization furnace. 1. Vacuum Furnace Shell Assembly The mode of the furnace body is horizontal and three independent heating systems are set up to separately control the temperature of each zone and ensure the temperature uniformity of the furnace chamber. The front and back doors are installed for conveniently loading and unloading. The furnace shell is made of SUS 304 with the structure of double layers. The cooling water goes through in the middle of two layers to ensure that the temperature of the furnace surface is below 50 Celsius. After the completion of the shell, the 4 bars per square centimeter leakage detection will be carried out to ensure its sealing performance. 2. Heating Chamber Opening the furnace door, we can see the square insulation layers which be supported by an outside stainless steel bracket. Opening the furnace chamber we can see the six layers of carbon felt and there is a lining plate underneath the felt for support and insulation. Three groups of graphite heater components and temperature measuring thermocouples are placed in the lining plate, which can control the temperature independently with the insulation design of each group. Above the bottom heater, there is a loading platform supported by eight graphite poles on which the workpiece is processed. They are the electrodes for incoming power which connected with the left side of heating elements. The one end of electrodes connects with the heating elements and is made of graphite. And the other end connects with the supply transformer is made of copper with water cooling. Corundum insulates the insulation layers, stainless steel shell and between the two poles of the heating elements. A safe distance should be maintained between each group of heaters and the carrier platform. 3. Power, Supply and Control System Tungsten rhenium thermocouples are installed in the middle of the left side of each group of heating elements for the temperature measurement. The reasonable setting of the temperature control instrument data on the touchscreen can control the temperature within 1 Celsius. Most of the operating functions can be done on the touchscreen, and the touchscreen records the running data for the user to analysis. On the panel of the cabinet, the manual control function is retained and the emergency stop function is used in emergency situations. The control system is installed inside the cabinet and non-professionals are not allowed to open the cabinet. All running status of carbonization furnace is displayed on the panel of cabinet. 4. Cooling Water System This is the manifold, the left side is for water in and the right side is for water out. The water mains are at the low end. 
there is an electric contact water pressure gauge on the top of inlet end. When the inlet water pressure is lower than the set value, the device alarms and stop heating are not allowed to heat. From the bottom up, the distributive pipes are connected to the furnace shells, vacuum pump, electrodes of each heating zone, and the filter. The temperature and flow sensors are respectively installed at the outlets of the electrodes in each zone. When the temperature of the return water is higher than the set value or the flow is lower than the set value, the device alarms and stop heating are not allowed to heat. The carbonization furnace works under high temperature for a long time. In order to maintain its good operating conditions, the emergency water supply must be provided to supply cooling water to the furnace except for the cooling tower. The general emergency water supply can be a high water tank or a UPS power supply for the cooling tower when power failure. 5. Vacuum System This is the vacuum pump which evacuates the furnace body by two channels. One is connected to the right side of the furnace body for speeding up the evacuation of the outside of the working chamber. And the other one is connected to the middle of the lower end of the furnace for speeding up the evacuation of the inside of the working chamber. Two anti-vibrating bellows are installed on the channels between the vacuum pump and the furnace body which effectively reduces the vibration generated by the vacuum pump during operation and prevent the furnace to resonate. There will be a large amount of tar tail gas or dust impurities during the carbonization process. A two-stage filter at the channel which connected to the lower end of the furnace is installed to improve the service life and maintenance of the pump. The first stage is a metal spiral cooler and its exhaust port can be opened to take out of the filter element for cleaning. The second stage is the replaceable dust filter. 90% of the impurities could be filtered through these two-stage filters. The two channels are respectively equipped with electronic vacuum valves. There is also an electromagnetic vacuum charging valve below the pump, which is working with the vacuum pump to avoid returning oil to the vacuum pipe after stopping the pump. An electric contact pressure gauge is installed to monitor the pressure in the furnace. When the pressure value is higher than the set value, the device alarms and stop heating are not allowed to heat. An electronic vacuum gauge is installed and the reading is displayed on the HMI. On the right side of the furnace an electronic vent valve is installed and a manual vent valve is also installed next to it, and it can be used when the electronic exhaust valve fails. Please contact us for further details information about the carbonization furnace.